All right, let's check out how we add a form to a stage that we've created. Let's jump over here to this form that I've been working on, or sorry, the stage that I've been working on. And what I want to do is I want to add a form. Here we've got a small form right here on this banner ad that I have where someone can fill in their email address. That's a small form, but I want to add a form that asks for more information, such as their name. And I want that form to appear somewhere here on my stage. So how do I do that? Stages are excellent forms of are excellent tools for generating mailing lists by putting a form on them. So I really want to get a form on here as fast as I can. So what we do is we come over here to stages in the main menu and we jump down to the form manager in the sub menu and we'll head on over there to the form manager right now. Now I currently do not have any forms so the first thing I want to do is add a new form. And um, I'll just call this new form test for right now. Now what you want to do is you can get forms, the, the HTML code, uh, don't worry this isn't getting technical, that code will be provided by whatever company you are using for your say autoresponder, for generating a mailing list, and for, for creating forms. For example, down here, AWeber, iContact, Profitmatic, and TrafficAway. These are four places where you can jet create your own custom forms and they provide the HTML content. So you go to whichever um, one of these programs you're using to get a form and you, and you get the HTML code and you simply place, paste it here and then you decide where do you want this form to go, below your text ad or to the right of your text ad, which is located just below the video on your stage. So once you save that form, then you go over to your stages and you'd have to select the stage that you want to add that form to. So you're here in your options for what you want to show on your stage and you come down here to form and you'll see a drop down menu and you select whichever form you want to appear on that stage and then you save it. Then we can go to this stage by clicking on the link and let's see what happens when this stage loads. We can scroll down here and, and you'll see that where the, below the text ad we've got our form appears asking for their first name and their email address. Now the look of the form will be different depending on who you're using. A lot of times AWeber and, and Eye Contact and Traffic Wave and the different companies that uh, we work with to add forms to the sites, they can, they'll give you different looks or appearances um, for forms that you can, that you can use.